Savings goals keeping you up at night? Let a Regions Banker help you build a Regions Greenprint plan, a free financial roadmap personalized for what matters to you. Start building your financial confidence. Visit Regions.com to find a branch near you. Regions Bank, member FDIC. Broadcasting from the Subaru of Gwinnett Studio, inside the Gas South Convention Center in Duluth, Georgia, it's time for Gwinnett Business Radio. Gwinnett Business Radio is presented by Regions Bank. Start building your financial confidence at Regions Bank, member FDIC, an equal housing member. And greetings and salutations, everybody. Thank you to the lovely Amanda for bringing us in and reminding you that you are listening to Gwinnett Business Radio here on Business Radio X, broadcasting live from the Subaru of Gwinnett Studios and the Gas South District Convention Center. If you're not listening live, you're listening on one of your favorite podcasting channels, and we thank you for joining us. We've got three great guests from two great companies, but before I get to them, I have to remind everybody that sitting to my right, is my trusty co-host, he who must be listened to. It is Harper LaBelle. You know, I'm really happy that uh, we get together every week, and now that the fall is starting to kick in a little bit, I'm not sweating and pitting out when I walk to the studio. It's fantastic. I I am so grateful for that. I, th- I think you are. Yeah. I think knowing that the, the, the shirt isn't sopping wet like it normally would be, even I, in the morning. I, I, will, I will shout out a YouTuber named Matt Mitchell. People search him and look for false fall. He's got a great little. He's got great little two minute videos, and he's got one on false fall, which I I feel like we're having that. We had it a few weeks ago. Oh yeah, yeah. Where yeah, I know what you nice say now. I at, didn't know I like like you have to fall down. Yeah, but you didn't really fall down. No. You kept your balance. But it's really funny to watch that. It was. I bet you that's a nice little YouTube video. It, it too. was. It was beautiful little wind, and then you're like, oh, it's happening, and then summer comes back and just punches you in the face one last time. Oh, it's gonna be 94 tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. With 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 one hundred and twenty five percent humidity. If you haven't figured it out now, Mike is producing the show, so yeah. he's really going to keep us on track. So the wonderful, absolutely fantastic Dan and uh, uh, amazing, talented is being replaced by Mike. Yeah, that's right. It's Mike. Speaking of Dan, we have Dan McCann from SimTrain here. We also have Avis Bowen and Christopher Tello from the Enzo at Ariston and Rangewater Real Estate. Let's get into it, and we'll start by talking to Dan McCann from SimTrain. Hey, Stephen. How are you today? Excellent, excellent. Happy to be here. Uh, by the way, got a great name, Dan McCann. I like that. You've heard that all your life, I'll I'm sure. It. But really, you're here to tell us about SimTrain. What is SimTrain and what do you guys do? Oh, awesome. SimTrain is an AI coaching platform. So we teach uh, the global CX agents. Those are sales, service, and support folks, typically in a contact center. We teach them how to perform their job, right? So their c- companies give them knowledge, and then they go practice and apply that knowledge in SimTrain, which is an AI coaching platform to help them get better and improve and, and build confidence and skills. So AI is certainly a, a massive buzzword. Everybody's talking about it. Um, how did you get, because I think SimTrain probably was a version of it was here before AI. Correct. But, okay. So uh, what inspired you to start SimTrain and, and also kind of talk briefly about how the pivot has happened to AI. Yeah, it's awesome pivot too. Uh, so yeah, I got into SimTrain. I was running an outbound call center. We were booking sales appointments for software uh, sales folks, and um, we just needed to get people up to full proficiency and get our, them upskilled. And, and we were losing about half of our new hires in the first six months, which was a really disappointing outcome. And uh, I was leading training, by the way. And so, so we can blame you? Yeah, yeah, it was definitely my fault. I, I had a little bit of something to do with that. So after a few years of, of thinking, hey, look, only the cream of the crop rises to the top, we said, let's, let's spend some time and figure out how to get them all there. Mm. And uh, we leaned in on some technology where folks could go in, they could practice what we're te- teaching them, they could get feedback as to how well they were performing and they could pra- and they could be f- free to fail right they can go in and try stuff that's new and 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 not worry about having anxiety of someone looking over their shoulder or trying to learn on a customer or figuring it out on the fly all those things are horrible that stinks for an employee right so once they're built their confidence and they as they were growing their skills they stuck around a lot longer so it's fun to do well in anything you do right and so you stay longer I, I think anyone of any particular age that's had some uh, real world experience, work experience, you kind of say the word training, and 
there might be some eye rolls, there might be some heavy sighs, there might be some, oh, I've got a horrible story of a VHS train. Okay, that's showing my <laughs> age. You know, and so we all kind of talk about training and, and think that eh, well, it doesn't really do any good. I think the idea of AI, and you're already talking about it, you guys saw some, some changes to the success rate. So for those people who have only had mostly negative experiences with training, can you verbally kind of tell us what what is the main difference in AI? Is it the number of reps? Is it how intuitive or how more like real life experience it will be? Talk a little bit about that. I, I think it's all of the above. And, and look, training's important and knowledge, like training typically and historically is basically a knowledge transfer. I'm coming into a new job. I need to know what to do. I need to know what the products are and I need to know what to say. And then, then it's like, how do I go do it, right? And, and so with AI, I can actually talk to an AI and have it seem like it's my buddy or an angry customer or, or a happy customer, or someone confused. You can change the persona. You can do all these different examples. So it's unlimited repetition, right? And it's authentic and real. And I get to navigate software at the same time as I'm having a conversation. And that's one of the reasons we focus on those contact center agents is being able to do both at the same time is just a huge value add. It basically, at the end of the day, it's $250 our clients are saving every hour that one person is in SimTrain. Mm -hmm. It's huge, right? And especially if you multiply that by a thousand in agents and multiple hours every week, every month in the platform. So is that savings because of the turnover that you mentioned a little bit earlier? People stay longer, they know more, they're more efficient, what they're all of the above. There's a lot of reasons why the, the saving would be there. But I guess the first would be you've got people that know what they're doing and they stay longer. Yeah, so, Fair so enough? actually even better. Right, because I'm not even talking about performance outcomes and improving those quality. I'm talking about just savings of time and re human resource cost. Right, taking you know sharing that uh, resource with AI and and taking the human element out of the second side of a role play, for example. So Harper, you and I are talking right now. Just remove Dan from the equation, and you save the cost of Dan. Right, yeah, right. So, so you know th that, and you could do that over dozens or hundreds of people, thousands of people. That that's a, a very real savings to where one trainer can't do all that anyways. You would need huge, multiple, right? Huge, huge, right? And then yeah. also the consistency, right? So if you remove Dan and you remove Steven and, and you have AI giving you feedback, it's going to be consistent across all thousand people that, that you're working with. Yeah. I, I apologize for all the people who listening automatically go to the scene from the office where Jim and Dwight are doing uh, interaction. Right. Clearly, SimTrain is changing that dynamic to not, it's not comedically failure it's it's you're gonna and like you said taking that human equation out and getting more repetitions in less time and more authentic that was the other thing right is i was thinking of my training where you would watch and again vhs tapes of training i'm like that's so you know that's not authentic right so being able to be authentic so let me ask this um not to get too deep here but it's i think you're also doing more than training i think one of the things is you guys have a mission of kind of making a difference so, so talk about beyond just training, how SimTrain is making a difference in the, in the community. Yeah, a, cu a couple things. My marketing person, who happens to be in Guatemala, was telling us a story about um, contact center agents in the Philippines, right? And there's an expectation of N net promoter score and CSAT scores when you're pushing offshoring, right? And so he, he gave us an example of a bank, you know, having a, a, a contact center agent in the Philippines who, who never had a bank account. Right? And he never owned an ATM card, but he's got to have empathy for a customer and help guide them through their challenges with their ATM cards and, 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 that they're, and the expectations are so high. And the impact that SimTrain is able to make on these lives of these people, it gives them exposure and helps them understand what does my customer feel like? What are they going through? How can I help them? And building that empathy and building that compassion in an, in an area where you have zero experience or zero exposure in some cases, like this example with the ATM card in the bank account. There's a scene in the movie Wolf of Wall Street. We talked about that before we went on the air. But the nah. scene is when Leonardo DiCaprio is announcing to a guy named John his character is saying, hey, you know, John, yeah, this stock right here, it's really, it's, you've asked me to call you when there's a stock that's moving. And he goes through almost the, any salesperson would go, he went through the A, B, and Cs of everything. But the reason I bring this up is that everybody in the background of that scene is all going, wow, I wish I could do it like that guy. Right. You have the ability to 
transfer that over, don't you? Yeah. Where everybody in the room, in spite of the fear of failure, in spite of the fear of I don't know what I'm talking about, in spite of the fear of I don't like how I sound, they can practice and practice and practice. And perfect practice makes perfect, doesn't it? Absolutely. Can you imagine being one of those people in the audience, listening to him on his first try, get that right and nail it and just be like, I can't do that. And that's, that's like the outcome of that, right? This isn't for me. I'm done. No right. way. No I way. I can't do that is a horrible thought to have in your head, right? You jump in sim train and say, well, I'll, I'll try it. Okay, try it again. I'm starting to get it. Like, hey, wait a minute. I think I can do this, right? All of a sudden, it's like, hey, wait, I'm actually pretty good. Hey, Harper, let's role play this together. I feel excited. I want to show you what I can do. Heck, I'm going to get on the phone and I'm going to call the next person. Let me go. Let me get a try. Seeing that impact in people's lives from I can't to I can and I want to is just an awesome awesome outcome of, of the work that we do. In the full range of a normal sales call, I'm sure you've taken into account all the things that can happen that would be a negative experience for, this, for the representative, for the person that is on the phone representing you, your, you and your company, including the nose. Mm -hmm. Do you help get through all of that situation? Is there anything that you haven't thought of yet that a person that we would be interested in hiring you would go, well, well you haven't heard my story? Like there's there's plenty we need to do. So explain how that works. Yeah, I love it. And so so we we do uh, demos all the time, right? So we're doing one for Verizon. We have this angry customer who's yelling at the contact center agents. Which it's like Mike. Right. Salmon, right? Exactly. When Mike's, he doesn't get his way. We, but he doesn't get his way. Yeah. He gets mad. He's going to yell at you, right? And so we did the demo. Our sales reps on, on the call, and they're like, ah. We're like, what? It's like, it just wasn't hard enough. It wasn't mean enough. It wasn't tough enough, right? And it's just so funny. Like, even you can change that. You can up ramp up the level of the AI to make it meaner or tougher. But absolutely. And the coolest part about it, Harper, is our customers are the ones creating those content, right? We're taking call recordings off of the contact center floor and QA scorecards and converting them into targeted coaching exercises for each and every agent, right? So, so the impact is our clients are running it. They can do any sort of example and they can change the persona, the difficulty. They can actually cut a call into segments and just practice different parts or segments of an of a, of a interaction with customers, too. We're speaking with Dan McCann. He's the CEO of SimTrain. Uh, and, and Dan, so you just kind of laid out w almost like what the experience would be for a, a customer working with you to develop their, uh, their SimTrain software. So you, you talked about global CX kind of sales and support and call centers. Uh, that's got to be the main thing. Uh, I also want to ask, is there, are there some, maybe some sectors that you haven't talked about yet? Are there some things SimTrain can do? Somebody listening might go, you know, that might be good for this part of my business, but he didn't talk about it yet. Talk, talk about how yeah. far this can go. Yeah. Yeah. So our vision is a digital coach for everyone. Right. And that's seven billion people. Right. So that's a little bit. It's big. That's big. <laughs> right now we're at 40 people strong at SimTrain from an employee. That's not count. everyone, <laughs> Stephen, but it's pretty doggone close yeah, to everybody. Pretty, it's yeah. there. It's yeah. there. So we, we, we decided, hey, let the 18 million of these global CX agents. Right. And, 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 and we got close to 100,000 of them today. So we're very minimally impacted on penetration and market market uh, adoption. Right. With 100,000 users, great outcome for a, a startup company. But with 18 million out, there's a long way to go. Yeah. So there are so many different applications that we're constantly turning our head to and going, oh, we just can't do that. We just don't have the resources to do that. Uh, like we've had people play with the salons, right? Helping uh, salon consultants or front desk people, yeah. right? Receptionists. We have another another customer that plays in the real estate space, right? Helping realtors do you know handle customer conversations. So and yeah. and, and you, there's a quote you kind of provided for us pre-show that uh, Mark Anderson, uh, founder of Netscape and and Opsware, famously wrote that quote software is eating the world end quote. I think that quote kind of applies a little bit. There are people who are listening to this go, well, there you go. AI is going to take over. A digital coach for everything. Is that AI taking all of our jobs? Just kind of speak to that. I mean, th there's there's a lot of good. Is there anything we should be concerned about? Or or why is this mostly good or all good? In, in yeah, I mean, look, I, I look at it as all good, right? But uh, that's my point of view. And it's how you look at the world anyway, right? Is, is, is a digital coach for everyone that means, hey, there's going to be a few less coaches, but there's going to be a few more team players, right? There's going to be a few more folks that are guiding me through alternatives. There are going to be a few more people prompting that AI, reading that AI, and working hand in hand. So there'll be just different types of roles, right? And, and so, you know, if you're 
nervous about change, it's coming, right? Change is coming, right? AI is here, and, uh, and we need to adopt it. We need to figure out a way to do it. And one of the things I love about SimTrain, it's a, it's a simulated world. It's like fictitious, right? And so it's also the data is fictitious. So our customers are, are typically, you know, Fortune 500 companies, um, and so they don't have to worry about hallucinations, they don't have to worry about those things because the, 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 the challenge of adopting and onboarding SimTrain in a world that's simulated is so much less risk, right? Because you don't have your customer information out there and all these things that are, that are really high risk and for compliance purposes. Dan, it sounds to me, uh, years ago I learned a very valuable lesson. Take advantage of the situation rather than letting it take advantage of you. Yeah. And as you mentioned, the AI is already in effect. Well, how do I get to take advantage of it? These are real conversations between real people that you're having, but you're just using AI to help train your side to be better at producing and listening to and, and being prepared for what the other side would have to say. Making my people better. Real simple. Where did the light bulb go off for you? Was it 2018 that you started? How, how, did, this, uh, how did you learn to take advantage of AI in a way that you start your own company? Uh, look, I always wanted to be a coach my whole life, right? I mean, in high school, I coached my teammates. I, wanted to, I went to high college and wanted to be a high school teacher and coach. I just didn't go down that path. But I did coach every employee that came through my old companies, right? It, just, it was a passion project for me. And then I realized I sucked at it. <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute. I was attriting half of my new hires, right? Come on. Like, that's a horrible outcome. And I was, it was my passion project. So I really had to figure so out. So your guys are going, hey, don't listen to Dan. He just, uh, he doesn't, he doesn't, he's going to talk, yeah. but he can't. You got to figure out the, the 25% of what he teaches you that's really good. And then he you doesn't know how to hit other. a curveball. Come on, man. <laughs> hit the curveball. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so there was a big problem. So it's like, and, and that would happen. All of a sudden, people are like, oh, listen to this or don't listen to that. And all of a sudden, people are like, how do I know what to listen right. to? Not to, it wasn't fair to those new hires. It just wasn't fair to the folks that were in role. And so that's why we got into it and got into the technology side to help streamline and, and support, just make it better. Right. That was our goal. It, it really, you know, and Harper said this, it, you know, perfect practice makes perfect. Yeah. And, and to get to perfect practice, you have to do some imperfect practice. The, the biggest thing I'm hearing as someone, and, and again, everyone listening has gone through some training. And I think the biggest thing I'm hearing is what one of the things AI does, number one, for the business owner, it reduces the cost. I, I've got a work experience where they had all these rooms set up and you were doing all these practice. To be able to make that simulated obviously reduces the cost. But it ups the amount of reps you get, and then it makes the reps better and better and better as it learns. That's, that's what I'm hearing. Uh, and so I, I think uh, the last thing to kind of ask you is you, you talked about you guys are a startup and you've scratched the surface, but there's so much more to go. So I, I'm going to get out of your way and imagine there's a room full of the, the, the low hanging fruit, the best prospects, the people who really need to talk to you. Who are those people? What are those companies? Is it is it it's call centers? It's people who are employing people who are on the phone all the time. Who, who are the best businesses right now that need to talk to SimTrain? Yeah, it, I mean, it, it, obviously it's contact centers, right? The CX agents, they, they need to do a, a better job of how they're supporting their customers, right? And it's a goal, and it's everyone's goal to increase NPS or increase CSAT, uh, no matter where you are. So these companies can be in banking, they could be in financial services, they could be in healthcare. Um, so from an industry perspective, we have a lot of different industries that have these contact centers that support their customers, right? And, and by the way, those are global operations. I love the fact that we have not just employees around the world, but I have customers all over the world that uh, are supporting these folks, whether it's in the Philippines, India, South America. Does it start with a conversation? How, how do, you know, where does it start? What is it, hey, I'm going to send yep. in an email and then an AI bot is going to contact me back? Or, yeah. No, just uh, how, yeah, yeah. how would that start? Yeah, yeah. And our, our AI bots are helping humans get better, right. to, you know, so they're companions. So you have the humans. Yeah, versus so, yeah. agents, so they're yeah. just companions, so they don't answer your, your Calls. Exactly. I do have humans answering you. So if you hit our website, right, it's simtrain.ai, uh, and simtrain is S Y M T R A I N. Uh, you you can get information there. There's a ton of articles and knowledge about coaching and how to coach better and more efficiently, how to onboard faster, and, and things that companies are doing to be effective mm -hmm. uh, in leveraging AI to get there too. Uh, so and 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 setting up a setting up a call just to kind of talk about how you're doing it today and how can you can make slight adjustments in, in your onboarding in your coaching folks that are in role and even assessing talent before they get there. I would imagine that during the initial stages, if someone says we do want to use you, I've got a trainer though. 
uh, I don't want him to lose his job. Would the trainer have any input in terms of here's what we need to focus on, and this is the way that we've been doing what works, what doesn't work, what has failed, what works very successfully? Is there a participation with not just the trainer but with everybody in the company that says, here's what we need, can you help us to get to that level? Yes, absolutely, 100%. Okay. And not only that, but so our trainers love us because think about that what they are, you're asking them to do during new hire or ongoing coaching, all this manual exercise exercise, the preparation, the scoring, the feedback, the, the exercises, finding out whether they did them. We're helping them do that work a lot more efficiently and a lot more effectively. So they have time to more time to prepare, more time to get better content, more time to work with folks one-on-one. -on -one. Would it be fair to also say that we almost want you to fail because you learn from your failures and we want you to see, okay, you didn't do that right. Once you realize, oh, I see the mistake that I made. I said A and I should have said B. Mm -hmm. Guess what? You don't, you don't, say A anymore. You you do it more correctly, right? You you trigger yourself to do it in a better and more efficient manner. Correct? Yeah. I, I tell my clients, fail faster, learn better. Yeah. Okay. Right. And absolutely a hundred percent. And all those failures happening in the simulated world help reduce the amount of failures in the real world. In the real world. And uh, if people go to simtrain.ai, S Y M T R A I N dot A I, they will uh, they can find a contact us, start a conversation, have a conversation with a real human yep. who's been trained well in the AI simulated world to help them find uh, better uh, training opportunities for for their people. Uh, Dan, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. This was fun. Absolutely. Wow, that was great. Hey, you'll love the difference. If you are a Subaruist and want to be one, Subaru has just the right offers for you. Have you thought about your wiper replacements, oil and filter changes? How about the tire rotation? When's the last time, Stephen, you had your tires rotated? Well, Subaru of Gwinnett is there to help. You can enjoy the big savings and the hassle-free experience at Subaru of Gwinnett, where people sell cars. You can visit them at SubaruofGwinnett.com. You can join their family today, or you can come on in and see the difference. They're located at 2950 Satellite Boulevard in Duluth, just two blocks more north of the mall. You can call 470 824 3860 for sales. Subaru, you'll love the difference. You've been training on that. I failed a few times. Haven't well, I? The, can, the only you thing can, you can the only critique I me. would the only critique I would give is you asked a good question and then you didn't let me let me answer. But it's your read. So That's you another failure. So I failed twice already. No, no, you didn't fail twice. No, it was, it was good. Fail I, often. What did, you, what did Dan just fail say? Often, fail often and yeah. fast. Fail fast. Fail fast to succeed. Quick. I don't know. Um, it was great. We'll have to ask him off the air. Actually, everybody rewind about two minutes and they'd hear that answer again. But don't do not do that because uh, do it after the show because really we need to talk to our other guests. We have Avis Bowen and Christopher Tello, and they are here from the Enzo at Ariston, also part of the Range Water Real Estate Portfolio. So Avis and Christopher, welcome to the studio. Pleasure to be here. Hi, good morning. Good morning. All right. At the Enzo at Ariston Tell us all about it. It's a, it's a luxury apartment community in Buford. Tell us all about it, Avis. Yes, we're located right by the Mall of Georgia. Uh, we were voted as 2023 Best of Gwinnett, and uh, we have 265 apartments um, in two buildings with beautiful landscapes. We are a gated community with covered parking, and we offer complimentary EV uh, charging stations. Um, so when you walk into our leasing office, you will be hit with an amazing aroma and greeted with um, a million dollar smile from our team, uh, Lauren and Devion. We also offer um, temperature control corridors with elevator access. We also uh, have the resort style saltwater pool with cabanas with a flat screen TV where you can watch your favorite football game or uh, read your favorite book. We also host movie nights and pool parties by the pool. Uh, we have two coffee stations with complimentary coffee, um, including espresso, chai tea lattes, hot chocolate. Our residents love their morning coffee. Um, and we also have a 24-hour uh, fitness studio with free weights, water rowers, stairmaster. We have a game room with a pool table and jumbo jenga. Also uh, is a great place to have a free date night. Uh, we have a private conference room with business meetings, um, complimentary Wi-Fi, and a great place to film content. We also have a club lounge with kitchen area where we host our monthly flying biscuit brunch and monthly resident massages. Uh, residents love to use the space as well to host their private uh, parties. And we are also pet friendly with a fenced-in dog park, so we love our uh, residents' furry friends. Um, so we are also walkable to local restaurants like Tequila Mama. It is Beefer's first rooftop bar. 
and uh, we have Flying Biscuit, Revolving Sushi Factory in the area. So if you love to shop, we are walkable to the Mall of Georgia, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Hobby Lobby, Target, and Best Buy. Um, and if you like to ride your bikes around the area, there is also a Ivy Creek uh, trail that is about three miles round trip. Uh, there is a nice observation tower with beautiful waterfalls. Um, it is a perfect place to do a 5K run with your friend. Um, so yeah, this is our community. Steven, and Steven, it's too bad there's, there's nothing going on. Yeah. You know, and, and, yeah, I mean, it, what a what a you know. As she kept it's going, a shame that there's kept, nothing to do. As she kept as she kept going down the list of amenities, I, I was thinking I was going to jump in and go. Well, you know, you don't have massages, and then she said they have massages. <laughs> were you going to jump in the saltwater pool? Uh, yeah, you I was going to jump yeah, in. I was yeah. Gonna, no, no, I was going to jump in. Well, verbally. you just said you were going to jump in. I was going to jump in verbally. See, verbally, you should, you should double train, entendre. You should You're playing. On that. Okay, so Avis, thank you for the description <laughs> right there. How, how long has the facility been in place? We were built in 2022. Okay. So in 2023, all of these amenities and everything else, was that a part of the plan to make sure that if there's anything that we're missing, shame on us because we've pretty much thought of everything that the folks might be looking for? Yes, absolutely. And, and the other, obviously, the location, it's, it's literally right behind the Mall of Georgia, and that walking distance is a very easy walk uh, to the Mall of Georgia and then the other shops in the, the Ivy Creek Greenway. So uh, are, are you finding uh, more, not only here, but to the other properties in uh, Rangewater, that more and more renters are wanting stuff within walking distance? I, I think that wasn't always the case in the past, you know, big giant parking lots and stuff like that. Is that one of the things that... that uh, luxury renting is moving toward is people want walkability? Yes, walkability, convenience. Um, you can Uber, eat anything you like. Um, they deliver it right to your doorstep. Uh, we also offer um, trash valet service seven days a week. So um, just the convenience and people like to work from home. So and that concept yeah. of uh, the concept of also walkability, but also community, because you talked about Tequila Mama and that restaurant is literally I mean, it, it's practically on the property. I mean, it's right on the corner there with that rooftop. So uh, there's this uh, because I think all apartments have, oh, there's a fitness center and there's, you know, the community at, again, massages at the community center. That's hilarious <laughs> and awesome and coffee every morning. But then beyond just what the the apartment facility offers, there is a restaurant that and with a rooftop bar and just a, a community gathering place. Okay. Uh, and also in the midst of that uh, little area, there's also uh, a play area, play structure. And so it, it's a community where people, if you are staying in your room all the time, you're, you're not taking advantage of everything that's there. So, so let me ask this, uh, today's renter, what else appeals to today's renter? We talked about walkability, but what else is today's renter kind of looking for that you guys feel like you've, you've offered? They definitely look for community. Um, so we have people moving from out of state or they're um, going through a divorce. Um, so they definitely look for you know, value and feeling seen and heard. And so our community, we offer great service. Uh, we have an awesome team. Um, they come together and we host these events to bring the community together. Also, we leverage the local businesses. Um, so we believe in grassroots marketing. So we would go out um, to different communities such as the um, Porsche. Uh, we hosted a car show at our community. And so um, there was a lot of residents that came out as well as um, call enthusiasts car enthusiasts um, that came out and there was a lot of fun with exotic cars and they also brought Corvettes as well and uh, over a hundred people attended the event. So uh, our entire team was all hands on deck. We had served food, uh, apartment tours, we also direct traffic and taking photos and interacting with residents and guests. Um, so yeah, those are the things that people look for when they're looking for an apartment community. And an event like that, you guys reached out to the Porsche dealership and said, hey, why, why don't we do this and why don't you guys bring the car? So so that's where you guys are doing more than just reaching residents but reaching out to, to businesses as well. Mm -hmm. If my concern is you're near 85, you're near I, I, nine, 
85, and you have the ability, especially with folks here listening, our audience obviously is in the Duluth area, if some folks that are traveling from different parts or they get a new job and they're not quite sure if they want to be in the housing market yet, the rates may not be where they want to be, this is a great alternative to provide shorter term leases. Do you have full year? Is it a six month? How, how, how can you negotiate which would be best for some people that are moving into this area and aren't quite ready to buy a home but do need a place to stay? Yes, we offer um, seven months up to 15 month leases. Um, so it just depends on what they're looking for. We have uh, different floor plans for one bedroom, two bedrooms, and three bedrooms. Uh, Christopher, you've been awfully quiet. Yes, I have. Uh, mainly because Avis has done such a fantastic job of answering all these questions. I'm letting her go. So uh, Rangewater Real Estate. Yes. So, so if you can answer just a little bit beyond just the Enzo uh, at Ariston, sure. uh, is, is everything that Avis has been talking about um, – at all the properties? Is it is it a, a, a spectrum of stuff? Talk a little bit about Rangewater Real Estate and, and their scope and, and just how many properties, things like that. Sure. Actually, I'm a, I'm a new addition to Rangewater. I've been with them uh, just about uh, going on three months now, but um, I've been in the industry for uh, almost 19 years. Um, Rangewater is, uh, we do predominantly third party, although we also have um, a BTR, Build to Rent. Um, We've got uh, a collection of high quality new build communities just in our market alone. We've got, um, I think we've got the Ivy right next door. We've got the Margo down the street. So, um, you know, great, beautiful apartment community. I know the first time I went to the Enzo, I was just shocked. I remember when I first started uh, as a leasing consultant a long time ago. I, I wish that I could have worked in a, in a leasing office that pretty, that smells that good, that looks that good. It's it's luxury is definitely the, you know, appeals to the the renter nowadays, specifically in that that Buford yeah. Sugar Hill market. Yeah. And, and apparently, you're not in that leasing office because you have a maybe a five hundred thousand dollars smile, but not a million dollars <laughs> smile. We'll have to. I, I I'm I don't know. I'm, it's a, it's I'm a just, face for radio. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, me too. Uh, so, uh, by the way, I get a dollar every time someone says that. Um, the the uh, so as someone with a lot of experience in the industry, yeah. but kind of making the change uh, to range water, what else appealed uh, apart from the beauty of the the uh, properties? What else was appealing to you as you were looking to make a move and went, okay, this is this is my new home where I need to be to to work. I think that it's a, a great culture at Rangewater. I mean, they've got uh, amazing core values. I actually you know, brought our core values with us. Um, the one that sticks out to me is integrity. I, I feel like you know, anytime that you can do the right thing for, you know, the residents, that it's the, the right thing to do. I, I'm a, guided by Matthew twenty five thirty five. You know, and I was a stranger, and you invited me into your home. That's kind of the thing that you know I think of when, um, when approaching work every day. Um, but we, we want to be um, experience makers at our communities. Mm -hmm. It's one of our four E's. You've heard of the four P's, you know, people, price, product, promotion. And I'm, I'm old school, so that's, you know, what I typically tell my teams. But um, our four E's are actually um, exchange, experience, creator, environment, and emotional connection. Those are the four things that we're trying to make sure that we touch on every single day. Christopher, uh, I got here in 1991 in the Atlanta area. You've been here, what, three months, you said? <laughs> I, I've actually been in Atlanta for 20 years. Have you really? Yeah. Okay, so you've seen a lot of the change, too. I'll talk to some old-timers that people were here for, yeah, they're visitors, right? They, they're not from here originally. Right. But there was a time where, oh, you can't go outside the perimeter. There's nothing out there. And then there's uh, Duluth, and, and then there's Buford. Is there a growth pers perspective, that, uh, perspective that you're looking at right now and a perception that you have towards Buford's great right now, but we're also looking at there's still a need. Uh, is it Flowery Branch? Is it other areas that are close by? Or is Buford the place that you really want to be right now? Well, I think, you know, speaking to the Enzo specifically, I think it really caters to that kind of trifurcated market that you have over there. You have Sugar Hill, you have that Mall of Georgia walkability, and then you've got the baseball field down the street for the um, the minor league Thank baseball Thank you. Team. Stephen was going to want to mention that. Yeah. Cool Ray. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, shout out Cool Ray. Um, but, you know, I think we, we do pull from... There's so much to do in such a close area right there you really don't have is. to put more than a, a, a gallon or two of, of gas in the car every other week because when traffic gets really bad around the mall well, but, and, and that's the yeah, thing too with atlanta is very much uh, having lived in a couple of different cities atlanta isn't really big on public transportation so being able to have that live work play community um, I think is is very appealing to anybody who would want to come live up with us in Buford and we do pull from different markets around that area 
Two, two quick shout outs. Uh, I, I said Cool Ray, and make sure you go visit Bobby's Tackle Shop. Uh, one of the best employees of that shop is in the studio with us this morning. How about Elijah. that? Yeah. But the other You're thing, a little uh, prejudiced with that. I'm very you? prejudiced yeah. with it. Right. Uh, Avis, I was going to ask you, you, you mentioned the Ivy Creek Greenway. That might be one of the hidden jewels in, in Gwinnett County because as busy as the Mall of Georgia gets, as bad as traffic gets on Highway 20 and all around there, and, and by the way, that's the answer to livability, walkability, because, hey, I don't have to sit in traffic to walk to the mall. But that Ivy Creek Greenway, and you talked about the tower, if people have never gone on that, that is so fantastic, and that you can you can be a a, a, a naturist back there and and just kind of see all that because there's there's a trail, but there's also the the dirt trails and and like you said that viewing tower, you've just got such a great view of, of such a wonderful ecosystem right next to sprawl and traffic and all this stuff that we deal with, but but it's it's livability so. Um, so I, I just think that's so fantastic. But with that, let me ask the question. Uh, you are uh, one of the community managers at Enzo at Ariston. What are some of the challenges and opportunities that you face as a community manager? Yes, uh, we work in a dynamic and a competitive environment. Um, so we must stay ahead with fresh ideas of marketing and collaborating with the local businesses. Um, so we have to stay consistent um, on following up and following through uh, with our residents and um, each team member plays their position, and they are called to play it well. And so every morning, I start with a morning huddle, uh, which sets a positive tone for our community. And uh, we, dis we discuss our game plan for the day. So what we're excited about, what we're looking forward to, and what we're thankful for. Um, so that really helps build our team's strength and um, communication. So we also share these moments on our Instagram, Facebook, and also on TikTok. So we also do different uh, marketing videos as well um, to keep our community engaged and also for prospective renters. Um, we do have people who look at our TikTok page from out of state and they would come in and be like, wow, I saw you on TikTok and I want to live here. So that's something that is She's different. She's a celebrity, Stephen. She's <laughs> a celebrity. Avis, when did you uh, start working? For and so and and uh, what are some of the best things that you've been able to encounter in your own personal life that go? I think we're doing it the right way here, and I really like what we're doing and how we're helping people. Yeah, so I've been in this industry for 11 years. I've been with Rangewater for three years. And um, with the Enzo, we started in 2022. So it's really exciting to see the Enzo grow. Um, since 2022, we have residents that moved in since that day and just building relationships and just pouring into the residents' lives. Um, they and, and you've seen it from literally the time that you're waiting for a drywall to the mud to dry and for the paint and the carpet being put in and everything's brand, brand new, right? I mean, that's one of the smells, I guess, where you know what a new car smells like. I guess we're talking about the fragrance in your uh, uh, foyer of candles and perfume and all that kind of stuff. But you're also familiar with the smell of of the drywall and uh, HVAC sawdust. guys, right? Yeah, yeah sawdust. Yeah. And, and the completion of that and seeing, seeing dirt, rocks, and two-by-sixes becoming a very gorgeous and luxurious apartment complex. Mm -hmm. You've got to see all of that. Yes, and maintaining the community um, and to help resident retain and renew their leases. And so just building from the beginning and maintaining it. Yeah. So you talked about the team huddle. You talked about going on social media, going on TikTok. You also appeared on Gwinnett Business Radio. And hopefully one day, because this, this interview is hopefully timeless, that you'll have someone come in. Hey, I heard your interview, you and Christopher, on uh, Gwinnett Business Radio. And then I saw TikTok. And now I'm here to, to take a tour. So uh, whenever someone is listening to this, there's probably a good chance that you guys have some availability. And if nothing else, they can take a tour. What is the best way uh, for people to get in touch with you and, and remind everybody exactly where it is, give address, whatever contact information you want to give. Yeah, absolutely. Our phone number is 678-889-8293, and our address is 3025 Woodward Crossing Boulevard, 
Beaufort, Georgia, 30519. You can also check us out on our website, theenzo.com, and follow us on Instagram, theenzo at Ariston, our TikTok page, Enzo at Ariston, and we're also on Facebook. Oh, my goodness. You're everywhere. And hey, if I go online, will I be able to see like a, a visual? Is there like a No, there's pic- no pictures. No, there's no pictures. Of, of <laughs> the thing, of all the amenities, are there seven? There were there were a lot, 700 amenities that we read. Yeah, exactly. Massage. It, will I get massage, to see Stephen yeah. being no, massaged? No, no, you're not going to see that. No, no, they want people to come to the place. Keep you the towels not, on, Stephen. Yeah, you do not. Keep <laughs> the towel <laughs> on. If you go on our website, you not only will be able to see all of the, the amenities and you can take a virtual tour, take a look at our apartments. But we actually incorporate, to you know, to Dan's point earlier, we use uh, AI for our um, future residents. So, you know, that not, you know, as probably... Robots? As, You're going to house robots? We will. That's I mean, awesome. It, I eventually they they'll need, get yeah. a robot to replace <laughs> Even us. Even a I'm robot sure. needs a place to stay. No, we uh, use the AI to send, like, nurturing uh, communications to prospective applicants. So we want to make sure that we don't, because obviously Avis's role is multifaceted, so we want to be able to make sure that no phone calls is missed. No email is unresponded. We want to make sure that we're talking. We're not ready to clone Avis yet. Not yet. Right? That's so impossible. Her, I'm and just if Steve and I it, both call impossible. at the same time, will I get priority or will Steve, I think Stephen will get priority because he, he wants a massage. We got to get him right in. Yeah. Wow. And what no, also no. sets us apart is that we have a video on our website and um, you will see me on the video. So you can come in. You're like, oh, I saw you on the video. Yeah, yeah. VHS? Is it old school no, or no. is it on a disc? Yeah. Betamax. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, 16 mil, right? What, 16. What, sets Avis a, what sets Avis apart is she doesn't put up with any of your... your Shenanigans? Yeah. My, my, uh, and well. she makes sure and answers the question. So theenzo.com. Uh, also, if you want to see other properties, they, there is also liverangewater.com. Uh, and just so everybody knows, Enzo is spelled E-N-Z-O. So, uh, Avis Bowen and Christopher Tello from the Enzo at Ariston, part of Rangewater Real Estate Portfolio. Thank you guys for being here today. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Absolutely. As we wrap up the show, before we wrap up the show, I want to remind everybody that we are here to help your business's financial future stay on track. And by we, I don't mean Harper and I. We We want to... We want to talk about business and we want to shine the light on business in Gwinnett, but regions commercial banking is, is there to help your business's financial future stay on track. They have a team of experienced bankers in Gwinnett who can guide you in all areas of growth, get the resources you need. So every step can move you closer to your business goals to learn more, visit regions.com forward slash commercial dash banking. Don't forget the dash regions bank member FDIC. Hey, good show. A, I thought it was a great show. Well, it was a good or great. Uh, it, it was great. And the problem is, Mike is probably going to replace you and I with AI as soon as he possibly Oh, he's can. already talking he's, to Dan He's right already now. talking he's, to Dan. That's why Dan is here. Man, dead gummit. They're having, I knew they were having a meeting they after the show. failed freely. <laughs> We fail frequently and freely and freely yeah. and horribly. But I want to thank Mike for producing the show. I want to thank Harper for being my guest, uh, for being music? my co-host. Do you hear the music yes, in I want to asking for it. <laughs> I want to thank uh, our guest Dan McCann from Sim Train and Avis Bowen and Christopher Tello from the Enzo at Ariston. So, Harper, do you want to take us out? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to sound like a robot. Exactly. We will catch you next time on Gwinnett Business Radio.